Hi, I'm Dr. Bridget Behe, and welcome to Flowers in the Classroom. Today we're going to talk about seeds and seed dispersal. Do you ever wonder how plants regenerate themselves? Well, seeds play a very crucial role in starting new plants. There are parts of the flower that are specially designed to produce seeds. The seeds are produced down in the ovary, the bottom, very bottom part of the flower. And as that seed matures or ripens, it's then ready to generate a new plant. As we look here at a diagram or a cross section of the seed, we see that it has three parts. The very outer part of the seed is called the seed coat. Now, seed coats can vary some, from something very thin, like a, a, a fresh corn seed, or something very thick to a walnut seed. The second part of the seed is called the endosperm. That's the food supply, the part of the seed that nourishes that tiny plant until it's able to produce food on its own. And the most important part is the embryo or the tiny plant itself because that's going to produce a new root and new leaves and develop in an entirely new plant. For the last part of this lesson, you might want to set up different numbered stations around the classroom. You could have one station with corn seed, another with watermelon seed, and a third with lavender. Set up as many stations as you have seeds. Then you might ask the students to walk around the room and, and draw or describe the characteristics of those seeds. They might draw the shape or talk about how hard or soft that seed coat is. They might also look at how that seed probably is dispersed or distributed. They might look at whether that seed might fly through the air or be carried very easily by water. So you can look at the different parts of the seed, see how those seeds are dispersed, and really get a better understanding of how plants regenerate themselves. To download this and other lessons, visit flowersintheclassroom.com.